Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Jeff with JNS Custom Woodworks. Today, we're gonna build this DIY wooden cross. This thing is built out of scrap pine and it is very profitable, $20, $30, depending on what kind of market you're in. First, we're gonna cut down some inch and a half pine to three quarter inches thick. And uh, that will make up the, uh, the body of our cross. Just take any kind of scrap you have, any kind of length, just make sure it's three quarter thick I mean, really, you could do it inch and a half, two inches, three, whatever you want. Just make sure it's three quarter thick. Then we're gonna take it over to the miter saw and uh, just cut random pieces. For this, for this one, I did. I had ten inch pieces, eight inch pieces, seven inch pieces, sixes, and fours. So I've got all my pieces cut and I got them laid out. This uh, this piece right here is just a uh, spacer. We're not gonna glue this one in. This is just to keep, keep everything straight when you put it in the clamp. But you're gonna need two 10 inch pieces for the bottom and the top. You're gonna need four six inch pieces here, 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 and here. Then you're gonna need four eight inch pieces here, 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 and two seven inch pieces, and then four, four inch. Now, this is just the way I do it. These can be made anyway, as long as there is a cross in the middle that is uniform. So, like I said, you don't have to do these in the same length pieces that I do. You can do it however you want to do it. Mix and match this up. Just make sure that there's a uniform cross in the middle of the piece. So now taking a scotch brite pad, we're just gonna go around every edge of these and make sure you knock off any uh, tear out. Make sure the edges are all smooth. That way when your glue up comes, everything be nice, straight, square, and the glue up will, will be a good one. And you can use sandpaper here too. I just use a scotch brite pad and it'll knock that stuff right off. Next, we'll do our glue up. I just laid down some sheets of paper in between my cross and my work table. That way I don't glue the cross to the work table. This is the easiest way that I found that you can do this. Um, if you try to put clamps under it, I mean, you don't have all straight pieces that are the same length, so it's kind of hard to do it. So just, you want to lay it on a flat surface. These pieces of paper, they will stick to the back of the cross with the glue, but they're easy to tear off and then sand them off with with, uh, with your sander uh, after you get it out of the clamps. I used a couple of quick clamps here on each end of it and then a couple of F-style clamps in the middle to make sure this thing came together good and had good glue squeeze out. And we'll let that glue dry for about an hour. While that glue dries, I'm gonna clean up this messy shop. So after the glue dried and I got it out of the clamps, I took a chisel and just uh, scraped up all that dried glue at every joint, clean it up real nice before we sand it. And we're gonna sand right here with the old five inch orbital sander. 
Pay no attention to all the dust flying out of the back of it. It was hot and I was kind of too lazy to hook up the dust collection. I guess you're just trying to hurry up and get it done. Try to make sure all your glue sanded off of here at each joint. Now you don't have to keep that sander flat. You can, uh, see I'm taking it up on the edge there. This cross is gonna be painted and distressed and I'm really not worried about all the joints and being flat and all the, the face of it being flat. So just gotta take it up on the edge and get all that glue off of it. Doesn't matter if it digs down in there. I mean, this is a distressed cross and if you want it flat, then by all means, you know, make it, keep your sander flat, but, uh, but you don't have to. That, that wasn't my design for this one. Now right here, I'm using some CA glue to uh, fill in cracks and knot holes and everything. Um, at first I was gonna lacquer this thing. I was gonna have the brown CA glue as a, kind of like a highlight, you know, filling in the knots and cracks and everything and then just spray it with lacquer. But in the end, I decided to go with a gray distressed look. So really didn't need to do this step here. And then sand all that CA glue down smooth. Well, I used 40 grit right here. It rips it right off of there. So you can use 40 grit or 60 or 80. Just something that'll get that glue off pretty quick. I mean, if you're not in a hurry, then by all means use 120 or higher, you know, to get the glue off. But like I said, I used 40 grit right here to get it off pretty quick. And then once I got all the CA glue sanded down and off of it, I, I switched to 120 to sand it a little smooth to get it ready for paint. Right here, I'm hitting it with a coat of black satin. This is gonna be our undercoat for our distressing. Pretty cut and dry here. Just hit it with a good coat. One coat's all it needs. And uh, turn it around. Same thing on the back, just a coat of black paint. Now I didn't film myself painting this gray, but I put two coats on it. Uh, I just straight up forgot to turn the camera on. And then after that paint dries, we're gonna hit it with a sander and do some distressing here. We're gonna use a combination of a uh, five inch orbital sander and then a uh, 120 grit sanding sponge to just hit those edges, get a little distress going on there, make this thing look real good. So this is our cross. It's made out of a three quarter inch pine. 
and uh, I finished it in a gray distressed, painted it black, waited for the black paint to dry, hit it with a couple coats of gray, and then come back with a sanding block and distress the edges. Uh, you can hang these on the wall, you can set them up as a display, and these, you can sell these easy, 20, 30 bucks. This is all made out of scrap material. So, uh, thank you guys for watching the video. If you got any value out of it, please like the video, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you're notified anytime we release a new video. See you in the next one.